Welcome back. Every year, gardeners come together to swap, buy, and sell seeds during the National Seed Swap Day. In this week's Going Green, Kelly tells us about something you may never have heard of. So, Kelly, tell us tell us about this. Have you ever heard of a seed swap? This is a first. <laughs> <laughs> never have. It's actually a really interesting way to recycle. And even though it's the middle of winter, you may have already been thinking about spring. It's a good idea to come and start with something simple. Radish, lettuce, tomato, and those are great starters. If you've had a garden for many years or have visions of creating one, the Seed Swap is a great way to learn about creating a fantastic garden in 2020. And any questions they have about saving seeds or how to preserve them, how to pack them away, and keep them uh, with a high germination rate, we're here to help. Uh, something like zinnia, That's, it's very easy to save. It's easier um, if you get it just before it's completely dry. You can also buy heirloom seeds. An heirloom is a plant that um, has been around for many years, over 50, and it has been, it usually has a story to go with it. Um, and uh, we treasure the stories almost as much as the seeds. A seed swap is not only an act of giving, it's the ultimate form of recycling. It allows people to grow seeds locally and not bring things in from other parts of the country that are not uh, adapted to our region. We don't want to be bringing in something from another area that may end up um, becoming an invasive species and taking over. And this year's free seed swap will take place next Saturday at the Hamilton County Fairgrounds from 9 a.m. until 2 p.m. There will be presentations on how to grow heirloom seeds, growing gardens in small spaces, and of course, the opportunity to buy, sell, trade, and even get free seeds. We have all this information for you on our website. Just go to WTHR.com slash going green.